Okay, hi, I'm Dan Gregory. I'm founder and creative director of Man Made in Marlborough. I went to uh, my local barbershop where I've been going since I was a kid and I um, was about 14, 15 going from like year 10 to 11 and we were just generally talking about what I wanted to do. When I leave and I didn't know, I was like, I haven't got a clue. And they needed someone to help out to like clean the floor, making the tea, brushing up and stuff like that. And, um, and I went in there for a day and then I just loved the vibe and the way, it was just like a little, a little club and it was just brilliant and then sort of from then on I kind of just got more and more involved with me, summer holidays and half terms and stuff. And, yeah, and I got to go to the pub after work, which was, which was great. You know? I picked up a lot of things on the way. I went to college with Michael John uh, in Liverpool, and that was kind of to get the qualification, but a lot of it was in, in the salon, you know, uh, after work training. And I think I just was one of those, I got in, I enjoyed it, I was passionate about it, and I could just grip it, I got to grips with it. So, I bet that was general, my training was just watching, a lot of it was visual for me. I got to a point where I was, I had enough in my clients, and, and in terms of takings that I could, you know, I could find a decent rent. I could open a shop, you know, and I had my, my clients. I'd moved from a, sh uh, a couple of shops, and I'd noticed that they'd followed me. So I thought, why don't I do it for myself now? And that, that was that was where it comes to. It was just one of those moments where you think you wake up one day and you think I'm kind of tired of working for someone else. And yeah, and I obviously put the numbers together, and that was when this kind of evolved and became a, became an actual shop. Traditional for Barbara is the, the, the sort of epitome of everything that we do in men's hair, isn't it? You know, the foundations of what I what I learned is, is still true today. I mean if you look at any barbershop across the world, you there's still you know scissor over comb, clipper over comb. It's it's all still the fundamentals of Barbara and I just brought all that and, and brought it here. I'm not, I don't think I'm doing anything dramatically different. I think it's more down to the level of customer service that we offer here than, than anything else. I think the Barbara is still the general standard of what, what I've been doing all, all my career really. I think starting off on a local barbershop is always good. You sort of salt the earth, kind of show back the sides, learn your scissor over comb, learn your, your clipper over comb. Um, London School of Barbering is fantastic. Like, I mean, I, I couldn't rate them high enough. We got uh, Joe from there, and the standard of barbering that he was taught there was incredible. But I think, again, it's passion. You've got to want to do it. You know, it's not a job. You, If you think you're going to walk into cutting hair straight away, you, you know, it's you're not going to. You're going to be sweeping the floor. You're going, be, you're going to be a glorified cleaner. That is generally why I was, you know. I learned as I went along, but you do, you, you know, you clean the products, you're polishing the products, you're polishing the shelves every day, you're mopping the floor, you're making people drinks. But if you enjoy and you know the long-term goal and you really want to get involved in that atmosphere, then you'll do great in it. But you've got to remember it's hard work, what you are, and you've got to have passion and have it somewhere at the forefront of your mind that you know you're gonna, you've got a bigger goal and kind of stick to it and stay true to your goal that you want to get at the end of it as well.